Hello ladies and gentlemen, Dr. Cobra here, and I'm doing a cast right now for the Nefarious League. Um, this is in the finals round of the IVE uh, number two tournament. Uh, so this game is going to be between Smutna, I'm sorry if I mispronounced this, Smutna Rzeka, maybe? I'm just going to call him Smutna. And Rage Quitter up here. Uh, both these are very good players. And they're going to be playing a best of five uh, little series here. And the first game is on Lost Temple, and any subsequent games is a loser picks map. So, uh, let's just see what each of these players are up to. First off, uh, Smutka, Smutna, Smutna scouting this way with Overlord, which is kind of unusual. You usually see them scout across here because it's a much shorter travel distance for the Overlord, which is so, so slow. And looks like both players scouting the wrong way to start. They are spawning on cross positions, so uh, could lead to not, not as much early aggression because that's a pretty long rush distance. And more of a macro type game because uh, you can expand over to this gold and this gold and still be able to defend pretty easily. So it looks like Rage Quitter is going to come in here and find Smutna, who is putting down a 14 pool. And we've already got a gateway coming up for Rage Quitter, so. And looks like Smutna is just now going to find Rage. Uh, both players putting down their gas already. Uh, pretty standard timing on both of those. Although a lot of times, uh, Zerg, you'll see them put the extractor down right before the spawning pool, so that way they can try to get 100 gas by the time the spawning pool comes out, get that speed out, which a lot of times can be, uh, oh look here, Smutna trying to expand, but Rage Quitter has this probe doing the little rave dance, and it's gonna delay that for as long as possible. That probe is doing some strange type of spin in circles thing. I don't know. Oh, and he managed to put a pile up right before he dies, which is going to delay this expansion by quite a lot. Uh, Smutna putting down the Roach Warren, getting out that queen, and this one drone pounding on this pylon is going to take forever to kill it. And it looks like a cybernetic score coming out for Rage Quitter. Pretty normal. But this is definitely uh, the most important thing that's happened so far, is this pylon is going to block this expansion for quite a long time. I uh, got a couple Zerglings out, gonna come help get this pylon down, but still it's gonna take a while a while. And look like Smutna has changed his mind and is gonna go for a fast layer instead of an expansion. So uh, the scouting drone is gonna go down. Rage Quitter does have a nice little wall up at the front. He's getting out his second gas, getting out his Stalker and Warp Gate. So still interested to see what uh, build he's going for, really. These first couple Zerglings are probably just going to come up here and scout him and see what's going on. As Overlord's placed around the map and Random locations, I guess. Checking for... Uh, actually, these aren't random locations. They're checking for proxy pylons. Maybe if, uh, if Rage Critter was going to go for some proxy Void Rays, he'd probably put them right here. And a lot of times you'll see them, Protoss, put a pylon right here so they can warp in units uh, down to help fight, but it's not quite, you know, not out in the middle, not quite as open. And we're seeing the robotics facility up for, oh, tunneling clone. Robotics facility coming out for Rage Quitter. Um, timing on that was a little slow, I think. And now getting out three more gateways. Zerglings just scouting for an expansion. So we did see tunneling claws, and here comes Burrow on the way uh, for Smutna. And that's very exciting because even with this wall right here, the, if the roaches burrow, they can go right underneath the cell all the way up to do a ton of damage. So Rage Quitter going for a fast uh, warp prism. Uh, usually you see when Protoss players go with one gateway. Robotic. You can see that uh, observer come out first. But it looks like this time we're going to have some fun more for the 
I guess that's why he's getting out four gateways. Because uh, if you're really, if you're going to be building out of this robotics facility, you can't support four gateways. Or but if he's really only getting out for this warp, he's just going to do something pretty cool. There, he's loading up his sentries and a stalker. So he is moving out, but he is fairly unprotected right now. Um, uh, I wonder if this overlord is going to spot this. And yes, he's going to come right by this overlord. We'll see if Smutna is actually paying attention to his mini map. Great overlord placement. So it doesn't look, I haven't seen him respond to it yet, so maybe he wasn't paying attention to the mini map at the right time. So these roaches are up here, and there's almost nothing to defend against uh, these roaches. Looks like they're going to go right underneath this zealot, going to be able to do a ton of damage. However, Rage Quitter has dropped into Smoke's face and is warping in a ton of units to help. And Smoke does not have much to defend either. Looks like we're going to have a sort of base trade scenario. These roaches are just about to pop up on the middle line. A ton of damage. Looks like all the drones coming off the line to try to help defend this. But I don't think they're going to be able to do enough damage to pull these guys off. Uh, more roaches on the way. Two just pop up. Three more coming in. Just dropped down four extra zealots. He needs to get rid of this war prison and give him any of the attack here. He's clean right now. Meanwhile, these roaches are doing a good bit of damage. Able to take all the <coughs> probes off the line. So, this is all going to come down to whether Smutna can handle all the zealots and sentries in his base right now. He's going to be able to burrow those roaches and regenerate their health quite quickly. And, looks like he is able to out micro these zealots. Oh, it looks like the sentry and zealots are now going to be on the bottom. They throw up the force field, but the roaches can burrow underneath the force field. And I think Smut is going to be able to hold this off. And he has all these roaches inside Rage Quitter's face, so Rage Quitter is not able to get any more minerals. And there is the GG by Rage Quitter. And that is the end of game one. Smutna does take game one. And here we go for game two.